Demonstrators crowded onto Boston Common this afternoon protesting the MBTA's new fare hikes, which go into effect tomorrow. And they're happening even though some of the trains still running on a reduced schedule. New Center 5's Adam Bagby is live outside Park Street Station. Adam, what's the reaction there? Well, Duke, Nicole, you know, nobody likes paying more for less, but for a lot of MBTA commuters, that's exactly what's going to be happening tomorrow. The prices are going up while the service is struggling, and a lot of people aren't happy. You're like, what? It's insulting. Like paying for an amusement ride that doesn't work. More than 100 protesters rallying this afternoon against MBTA fare hikes going into effect tomorrow. For an authority struggling with derailments, pension problems, and just general service, an increase in cost isn't going over well. What you're seeing is a culmination of a generation with of neglect and failure. State worker Tracy Assey says she's never protested anything in her life, but came out today to point out her train's poor condition. Down on the Stoughton line, we have a rock that holds the door open, and we're told we can't open the doors. Many worry the cost increase will also hurt low-income families. Basic and monthly passes will increase more than 6%, which the T says will raise about $30 million a year, though some say it's on the backs of those who can't pay. That's like ridiculous people who already can't afford the team. Others say the legislature needs to do more, paying for upgrades instead through a new tax on millionaires. We can't ask people to pay more for a public transit system that's literally on fire. The T says it is committed to providing dependable service, pointing out work it was doing today on Brookline's Green Line, saying those fare hikes will help them invest a record $8 billion over the next four years. But until service improves, critics won't be hard to find. We we are now the most congested region, metropolitan region, the most congested region in the United States. That does not bode well for our future. And the T says they've actually launched two new websites today to update riders on construction projects going on on both the red and orange lines. One bit of good news for riders, though, is the T can't legally raise rates for another two years. We're live here in Boston. Adam Bagney, WCVB, New Center 5.